And then um, later, we'll do circle, given uh, a diameter and a radius, calculate um, other elements. Okay. And I'd like you to do this on your own. So this is where you'll click pause, do your best, fill in these formulas. And if you have trouble, then go ahead and continue to play, and I'll lead you through that. So begin. Well, did you get it? I hope so. If not, try again. Remember, if you put a formula in and you double click on a cell, you can actually see what that formula does. Okay, you want to try again? Or shall we continue? Well, let's continue then. Let's do this formula. So perimeter, what did we learn from before? It's going to equal um, 2 times the side 1 plus 2 times side 2. So it's going to equal, well, side 1 times 2 using the asterisk plus the other side times 2 and that matches super and the area would we say that equals it's going to equal side 1 times side 2 so we got it good well if that's true then how do I solve this one well, this is almost like just an algebra problem isn't it but still this is what we're faced with in Excel in Excel there's a lot of calculating a formula but once you create that formula because of the nature of Excel we can calculate lots of things from it or change our values and see the new answer without recalculating each time so that upfront work being able to do manipulations in algebra is really worth it so um, I think that the way this works is we're going to press equal the um, well probably the area divided by one of the sides ah, and it matches super and now we're back to calculating this formula simply by yes you guessed it multiplying the base time the height uh, or rather side 1 times 2 plus side 2 times 2 remember our formula down here this is isn't the only place we actually can work our formula area is up here so even though you don't see all the formula down here you can do the, the modifications up here let's move on to um, the next section it has to do with the circle and again I want you to try to solve these on your own I've given you the formulas up above here okay only now uh, I've added uh, the sphere the volume of a sphere okay so I want you to calculate that begin oh done already well let's see what we can do um, radius what do we say from before radius equals 2 times the radius, or rather, so diameter equals 2 times the radius. Radius times 2, okay, and the circumference is going to equal the diameter, in this case it's 2, times pi. And how did we do pi last time? Well, if you don't remember, you just type it out, pi, and it'll remind you, close parentheses, so at 3.14159, that's double that, so that should be about right. And the area is going to equal pi uh, times, I have to do the shift for that number 8, times, in this case, the radius, raised to the power of 2. And there it is. Now, the sphere, well, we shouldn't be any... Uh, we shouldn't be afraid of this one. It's going to be uh, simply copying this formula. So it's going to equal 4 times pi times the radius squared. Where's our radius? Here it is. Raised to the power of 2. I'll let you look at that formula before I press enter. There we go. And um, now the diameter. The next line. Uh, diameter is going to be equal half of, um, or the radius rather, is going to equal half the diameter. Well, that's going to be easy. We're just going to say equal this divided by 2. And I should be able to, now that I have a radius, copy these formulas down. And I'm done. Let's continue our look at formulas. I, and we'll look at again at the triangle. Again, this is... Um, a worksheet for you to work on. So I've given you some values of a particular triangle. All the answers are in this row, row 19. And I'd like you to create the missing formulas to generate the values. And in this, in this row, given five 
or, or I'm given the side 1 as 3 and side C as 5, calculate the missing side and again the area and the perimeter. So um, do that on your own. Calculate these formulas as well as you can and click pause. And then if you have any trouble or you're ready to check your work, con continue to by clicking play. Begin. Okay, well let's take a look. How do we do these formulas? Um, we'll start with calculating side C using the Pythagorean theorem given here. Um, how do we start a formula? Well, we start out with an equal sign. And in this case, we're going to have to calculate the square root. So SQRT, open parenthesis. And again, by typing the letters, it tells us some of the uh, functions that we need. It'll actually help spell it out. Well, the formula suggests I need to get side 1. I am going to put that in parentheses. So side 1. And what did we say last time? Raised to the power of 2. Close parenthesis. And then uh, we'll add the other side in parentheses. Side 2 raised to the power of 2 in parentheses twice. And I'll press enter. And we did calculate 5. Super. And the area. Um, isn't the area of base times height divided by 2? Well, that should be easy enough. It's going to equal the base times the height divided by 2. And we got that. And the perimeter, um, isn't it the sum of these three? So the perimeter is going to equal uh, this one side plus the next side plus the next side. I think we're done. But now we have another problem. How do we calculate this given this side? Well, we have to come up with a new formula. And given this square root formula, let's see what we need to do to create that. Well, using the Pythagorean theorem that says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, doesn't it also mean that a squared equals c squared minus b squared? And if we take a square root of both sides, it's going to look something like side 2 is going to equal um, the square root of c squared, in other words, the long side, 5 squared. Oh, I need that extra parenthesis, don't I? So I'll put it in. Minus the square of the other side. Now, does that look right? Looks like I need another parenthesis here and here. So now, how does that look? Okay, this is in green, this is in green. That, I think that's it. Let's press enter and find out. Ah, it calculated it. Good. And these two, I can just create a series and co copy down. Yay. I think we're done. So hopefully this, this has made it so that you can, when given a problem or a formula, um, use Excel to generate formulas to generate answers. And again, the value of this is, given a particular side, if the value changes, if I were to make this a 15 and a 7, and it's a right triangle, it will recalculate the new other side, third side, area, and parameter. Okay? Save your work, and that's all.